Hey y'all, thank you so much for being here. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is chicken tacos. So a couple hours before it was time to cook, I went ahead and marinated my chicken in the juice of one lime, four tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of verde taco sauce, a few cilantro leaves, one packet of fajita seasoning mix, and a little bit of garlic jalapeno seasoning, chili powder, onion powder, and a teaspoon of better than bouillon roasted garlic paste. So after you mix that up really well, you can go ahead and put your chicken breasts in there. I like to get the thin sliced chicken breasts, I just feel like they are a lot easier to cook. And to make sure that the chicken stays juicy, I wait until after it's cooked to cut it. So I stuck that in the fridge for about two hours and then when I was ready to cook I heated some olive oil in my cast iron skillet and I went ahead and put those in there and I cooked them for about three minutes on each side. You want a really good sear. So when they were finished I went ahead and took them out of the skillet and I let them sit for about 30 minutes before cutting into them so that all the juices don't run out. So while I let the chicken rest, I started to make some queso dip. So that's just some white Velveeta cheese, Rotel, jalapenos, and cilantro. This was my first time to do it in the oven and it came out really good. I just stuck it in the oven at 350 for probably about 30 to 40 minutes and I did season it with some of this Tasty's um, cilantro lime seasoning and it was really good. So now I'm just slicing up the chicken and y'all this marinade was so good I was literally licking my fingers after I cut up the chicken. Um, so definitely try this out and if you do tag me on Instagram I always love to see how these meals turn out for y'all. So I did end up dicing the chicken just so it would be easier to eat and I put them in some street style tortillas with some tomatoes and cilantro and just served some chips and dip on the side and this was really easy and just the perfect Taco Tuesday meal. So the next recipe that I'm going to share with you is meatball stew and I started out by cutting up some potatoes and an onion. So for the meatballs, I use one pound of ground beef and I season it with some Weber's Cajun seasoning, garlic salt, onion powder, Worcestershire sauce, and breadcrumbs. And I use mayo instead of an egg because it makes the meatballs so much more tender. And if you don't like mayo, don't worry, you really can't taste it. Um, it just really helps to get those meatballs tender. And then I form up the meatballs and put them on the pan and I put it in the oven for about um, 15 to 20 minutes at 350. It just browns the meatballs and gets the grease off. That way I'm not pulling grease out of the gravy. So 
So as you can see, the meatballs are nice and brown. So I pull them off the pan and put them into my pot and I'll let them brown just a little bit more in the pot and it will release some more grease, but that's okay because that is flavor. And then you can go ahead and add in a can of beef broth, um, two packets of onion soup mix, about half a cup of water, probably about a tablespoon of better than bouillon roasted garlic paste. And then I added some Tony's dry roux to thicken the gravy and give it a little bit of a roux flavor. It's not a strong roux flavor. Um, the only time I really like to taste roux is in a gumbo. So this really doesn't add that strong flavor. It just thickens it. As you can see, I added the potatoes and a little bit more water and I covered the pot and let it cook for about an hour. And this is so good. This is one of my favorite comfort foods. I just served it with a little salad and some mac and cheese. So the next thing that I'm gonna share with you is super easy. It's some baby back ribs in the crock pot. And I just seasoned these with a little bit of Tony's and then I stuck them in there with some Stubbs Sweet Heat barbecue sauce and a 7.5 ounce can of Dr. Pepper. So I ended up cooking these on high for six hours and they came out so tender. I served with mashed potatoes and green beans. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you next time. Bye.